So the long-awaited Winter Contingency 2 event is now live in Halo Infinite, but how is it? Because we had a pretty good look at the event past from 343's livestream, which it did look like something you definitely want to grind for, some pretty cool attachments, especially for the holiday season. And with the rumored Glow Ball Slayer I saw from a few leaks that we reported on the channel here, I was kind of curious, so what is 343 going to do to get us to grind out this event pass? Well, honestly, it was a little underwhelming. Oh! Team snipers. Wait, there isn't like a specific playlist or anything? We just got team snipers? There's not like a... What? That's it? We don't get like a fun like wintery kind of mode or anything? Just team snipers? That's it? I mean, not gonna lie, I'm a little, I'm a little let down here. Like that's it? Like we saw, I saw a bunch of things about like glow ball slayer and stuff like that. Found like something that you kind of like throws plasmas at each other to get kills. Kind of like we did like what's a snowball fight like with Halo 5. I mean, I was kind of expecting something very similar, but no, we didn't get that at all. We just got... Regular, regular old just team snipers. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to Glow Ball Slayer, if you check this out right here, this was a leak from Bathro Sparring, one of the more credible leakers within the Halo community, talking about the winter update. I think also kind of throwing in the winter contingency here, saying one of the game modes was Glow Ball Slayer. Chuck plasma hot snowballs at enemies to win no shooting your eye out here. He also mentioned the mode Super Fiesta, which is essentially like Fiesta, but with all the cool rec variant weapons that we've had previously throughout the campaign. No word on that, sadly, but uh, keep an eye out see if it ever does come into play. Uh, I do assume that this probably was a mode that was probably cut last minute. It's probably why we don't have any kind of gameplay event when it comes to this, because this is actually, the, to my memory, the first event that we've ever had in Halo Infinite that doesn't actually have any kind of fun kind of game mode attached to it. This is just a battle pass. I'm sure I got the, uh, the event pass here to see what's anything cool with inside this event pass. It did look pretty good. Not gonna lie. It did look pretty good. We have a couple of emblems here first, which is kind of like whatever backdrop. We got this emblem right here. That's kind of cool. These snowbound coatings are actually kind of sick looking though. Like these actually look pretty freaking cool. I'm kind of all about this. Another one for the Hydra. Finally a free Hydra coating. Oh my God. Been needing one for so long on this. This one's pretty sweet. The, uh, what's it called? What do they call these? The ornamentals. That looks pretty sweet. Giving the pineapples a run for their money right there for sure. And our emblem, they got the same kind of coating, but it's time for the sidekick, which is cool. This kind of candy cane's a sweet sight visor, which is pretty awesome. I mean, for a holiday event, that's pretty freaking sick. Now our emblem, it's kind of like whatever. And then the, the coup, de, the top of the, the cherry on top right here, the Santa hat, which obviously everybody named mom's gonna be grinding for the Santa hat. Now, what do we have to do to earn these right here? Well, we have all these different types of challenges here that are tied to the event, I guess. Are they actually tied to the event itself or just like, no, it looks like you just play the game and you don't have to play like, you don't actually don't have to play like team snipers looks like to get this. You just have to like, you know, play the game like, Earn kills in any, assist in any mode, which is a, such a huge quality of life improvement. I love this. Look at upcoming challenges. Then they're all tied to the event. They all just work for the event. So you just play the game and you get to unlock things for the event. What an idea, <laughs> you know? Oh my God, that's amazing. Is that uh, attachment for the Marks 5B or the Mark 7 as well? Now let's check it out. You're saying for like the, the snowball or the, the ornaments, right? Uh, the ornaments are for the Mark 7, it says right here. Sadly, you can't, no cross corn this thing. The Santa hat is, it just says epic helmet attachment. It doesn't actually say, I mean, like if I click on it, can I like observe it or something? So I would say like the Mark 7, go into the trailblazer. And then I go into this, right? And go to attachments. This should probably pop up, right? No. What kind of helmet attachment is it then? Or is it like when they're here? No. So like I go to like here. You're saying like the, like this helmet right here? Attachments. Okay, so there's the helmet, there's the hat right there. This is a, this is still like to me, like the best looking ha helmet, helmet in infinite though. It does look really sick. Cavalino, is that, was that a Mark 7 helmet? Oh, this one right here. Oh, so like the, the two kind of like standard Mark 7 helmets it's available for. It's a little lame. But I did hear that apparently like uh, cross core like attachments are going to be coming or coming or like the next thing I'm gonna be on the way, which is cool, I'm all for that. Now, if you guys remember, there's another event happening next month as well, which has more reach customization right here. If you guys saw within the winter roadmap, which kind of caused the community to go up in an uproar, we had a January event called the Joint Fire event, which we actually have a preview of what that battle pass is gonna look like. And you can see right here we have an emblem, a visor, new knee pads right here, a new chest piece, and the big thing I'm sure everyone's looking forward to, the JFO helmet, one of my all time favorites I'd say for reach customization customization, a new kind of coating, visor, two different shoulder pads, and also a helmet attachment on top of that. Now, when can we expect this event to happen? Well, actually within this image, the leaked information of the data mine that's probably part of the API for Halo Infinite, 
Okay, it's January 17th to January 31st, which January 17th would be the third Tuesday of that month, which falls right in line with the cadence you would expect to see events be dropping for Halo Infinite. Usually probably about the later half of January is when we really kind of see 343 get back into the office because right now they're all kind of taking a winter break. They've been working their asses off trying to get this game up and running into a good state. So I understand wanting to take a couple weeks off. No word yet if there is a game mode attached to the joint ops event, but if there is, I'll definitely let you guys know on the channel here. Another big gaming news, we had the Damnation remake from Infinite Forges and Cliff Schmidt working on this remake and oh my god you guys, this finally dropped and this remake of this map is absolutely jaw dropping incredible. I would be shocked if this map never makes it into matchmaking because this might be one of the greatest remakes I've ever seen in a Forge version of Halo. Now I actually got a chance to jump in and play this on stream, so here's some clips for you guys. Oh my god! This is no scope him across the map like a legend. Thanks for the walkets. Thanks for the walkets. Ow. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was dirty. Oh, this is an interesting little new spot. It hurts. Nice. That. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I love the I grapple shot that. on this map. It just opens it up so much more. Don't pull, don't be a karate. I don't know what else to call it. It's just blue. Makes sense though. And I missed. There we go. There's another one. We need another one. There we go. We got another one. Oh, Coming might in. have shot my teammate in the butt. That might good. have been my fault. Hey, I see you. You're one shot. I'm going for you. Never mind. You're not one shot. You're someone else. Ow. Oh, come on, Farsight. You're such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just let me get the, the silent back smack and, you know, for the content. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, no. oh, he zapped a rash. Oh, ho, ho, far side. Ooh. Oh, I think they're up here. Up top! Get top! Eh. I forgot how marking works and my up on the D-pad is actually kind of a little bit broken. <laughs> I think a two weeks straight on the map that I think would be the best way to get it out there. Best way to get the map, like, so, like get it out there, like best to have people know about it. It's just is to make content about it, make a video about it. Do a double kill. Yeah, the best thing is like make a YouTube video, make post something on Twitter about it. You know, people love just like I think people actually like looking at things people make in Forge and actually playing them though. It's kind of a it's a weird thing where people just kind of look at it and go like, wow, that looks really cool, but then they like don't really play it. But I think the main thing there, Leisure, is like the make sure your map just looks cool and then people will like people will want to play it, or or your map does something, map or game mode does something unique that you can't really find anywhere else. What? There we go. You got the bomb that sneaks. Oh, Kyrie! <laughs> Kevin. So, oh so I'm nipping Hey. <laughs> I'm coming, Karate. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Come on! I'm sorry, Brandon. Oh no, 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 no! Oh! No, come ready. No, 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 no. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna reload. I gotta reload, Karate. Be nice. Oh. 
shit! Okay. <laughs> no. Am I around the corner or what? Holy crap there, dude! This is hyper free for all we talking about. That's literally, that's basically how you play or free for all in Halo. Is he just have beat off of people doing all the dirty work in the lobby for you? He's going to die? I fell off the map. 